What's up everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys a quick demo walkthrough of the Fabuloso RetroPie theme. So this, the goal of this is to just kind of give you guys a quick glimpse of what this theme looks like rather than having to um, go through your themes and download it just to see what it looks like. Um, they do have a um, little preview thing on there, but it's, it's really not great, it's super limited to just a couple uh, windows of these themes. So this will give you a full walkthrough of it. Um, so first thing you'd have is your configuration settings here, which is labeled options in this case. So if we were to go to select that, you, know, you have all your different options here with a little um, icon that populates in as you go down the list. Go back out of here, jump into our Nintendo Entertainment System collection. Really cool layout here. On the left, little um, box art it looks like in the middle there, along with a gameplay demo for each title and a description. Also cool, we have some um, details in the uh, little box art on the right hand side. Just like the state genre of game, little rating system there, and um, the number of players that you're able to play with on this particular game. So. Out and jump into another one here. Let's check out Super Nintendo. It's the same, same deal here. Definitely a cool layout. A lot of these themes, they typically are either box art or video. Um, in this case, you also get, get what the uh, game cartridge looks like. Definitely a pretty cool theme so far. Looks like we're getting Mario and Sonic here pretty much throughout. Um, sometimes with these themes, it changes as you scroll down. This one seems to be the same, but I like it. It's some pretty cool um, graphics here. Jump into N64. Like the same setup. Now the pitch. Ground ball. systems here um, looks like the Mega Drive here doesn't have a um, console art to it but it's not a big deal let's just double check make sure it looks good once we jump in there yeah, so the just have the console art some of these themes have them some of them don't I think this would make for a great um, addition to like a one um, arcade one-up um, system. You know, if you went in and you swapped out the uh, arcade yeah, yeah, yeah. cabinet and put retro pod, I think this would make for a great theme there, just because it's centered, you know, down the middle there. So if you had um, different aspect ratios, I don't think it would throw off too much. Um, some themes just don't work on those, depending on, you know, the type of screen and all that. But I think with this being centered, dead center there, um, I think it would definitely work well with an arcade one-up. We're going to be doing a um, couple videos with converting one of those to um, RetroPie soon. So maybe we'll throw this up on there and see how it looks. Um, got a couple hacks graphics here. Some of these don't have a... Um, console art, but um, collections here do all games, favorites, and last played. Let's take a look at those. Okay, it's the same, same deal. Yeah, so I think this is a pretty cool theme. Definitely um, some, one of the simpler ones, but once you get into those um, game options here, collections page is pretty cool the way they've done it here. So that's going to pretty much conclude this walkthrough. Just want to give you guys a basic idea of what this uh, Fabuloso theme looks like. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. 
uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a lot of different walkthroughs, um, tutorials, gameplay demos from our um, game collection cars, just a whole lot of RetroPie, Raspberry Pi 4 content um, included in our page. And of course, you can check us out online at our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.